Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we have got the incredible Shay in the studio and she has gone through Peter's inspiration folder. She picked out three photos that she really likes the look of. So what we're gonna do is try and take the feel of them and get as close to as possible as we can, just using the natural light in the studio plus one LED light. So it's 10 years since the first time I shot with Shay and she made a trip down to my studio and she's picked out some stuff that she wanted to do. We're just doing some head stu headshot stuff uh, and we've just got three pictures. And yes, there's gonna be photographers out there that say these are boring, this is yuck. There's all these different genres, like these different styles of music, heavy metal, punk, emo rap, screamo, dubstep, club everyone has their own taste so just because you don't like it doesn't mean somebody else might like it so and these are all famous pictures so they've already been taken for we're not going to copy we're going to take the essence of i want to get reasonably close the only problem is i'm going to use i think i'm going to use natural light and a bit of constant light and we're, today we've got the sun coming in and out which makes my job hard but we're just going to work to basically take the essence of these feelings and I want to try and pinch a bit of the light and if I just look at Shay now and the light that's on her it's completely different but that's up to me to fix so I've taken a test shot and it was all it was was a test to see that my tethering was working but I could see how different this is to the other one so you'll see the top half of Shay's face is lighter than the bottom half whereas in this picture the top half of the face is darker than the bottom half so there's my first problem so I'm thinking I might just get a bounce board in and try and pick up some of this sunlight onto a white board and then the sun goes in so just wait for the sun to stick its head back out. Where I can, even with my eyes can see now, Shay's been lit more on the bottom half of her face than the top. Walk in towards me, I think about there. Cool. Still not as strong as I want it. And uh, right, so I want the whole picture darker for a start, but I'll work on that first. I'm more wanting to get the Shay's face lighter at the bottom than it is than the top. That's definitely getting more, but we're getting it from the top too. Can you keep walking on this way and coming to me now? Mm. Go back a bit. Keep going back. Did you put sunscreen on the bottom half of your face? No, on the top half of your face only? No. No, it's only. <laughs> I'm not, it's not, not light, it's lighting your whole face, but I expect it to be lighting more here than there. Oh, that's a bit not working. So I'm gonna have to use the HMI, I think. So what I'm doing with Shay, I'm looking at the catch light in her eye and we do have the sunlight coming from over there is definitely giving me a cat, secondary catch light in her eye. I just want to, so if I bring my hand in, you can see there's a shadow coming here, but you can see there's a shadow coming up, but look how strong that shadow is there. So that's not helping me. So I want to turn, and turn off the sunlight completely. All right, that has fixed part of that catch light. All right, so it's only in the corner of her eye, which means it's not doing that much. Oops. Right, that's definitely giving me more. It's much brighter catch light than the other catch light in the other model's eye. What I'm trying to do is I need to keep the light not to hit, so Shay can't actually see the light on from the light. She can only see the light from the ground. She's not seeing any of the light from the rim. That's definitely better. Help you no, you don't need to. I'm just trying to light the bottom half of your face more than the top half of your face. And that's definitely doing that. All I'm doing is I'm using my eyes. Like I said, I don't like copying pictures. I like taking an essence of a picture and then making our version. And it's not a cop out, it's just that someone's already taken this picture and cool. Yeah, this might work, cool. I'm shooting in small low key. It's definitely now, you'll see how we've got this, oops. 
This is lit here, more, same with her. See her forehead and this area down there is lit and there's a little bit of a mustache shadow. So I'm getting similar. The background's a little bit lighter than I want, but I can't turn it down much more with this light that we've got to take it a bit further down. If not, I'm gonna just, that's looking better. Cool, it's much nicer. Cool. Oh yeah, I'm liking it. Catch light in the eye is definitely stronger, but I'm not caring about that. I actually per prefer my catch light. I'm a touch dark to where I would shoot. And it's only because the sun's going in and out. That's really cool. Yeah, I was looking at a couple of things. There's a lot of detail on the model and I was finding mine was a little bit too soft. So I, wanted, I brought my ISO and my aperture. I'm sitting at now, I want to be about five, yeah, let's come up to 5.6. So I'm definitely be at 5.6, so I can come down to 800, 5.6, that's really cool, that's really cool. Yeah, I'm really liking this. Now, the di big difference between this shot and the other shot is the model's got black hair and shows got light hair, which means that this is feeling a darker picture, but if you look at the face, she might be a little bit darker in skin, but I'm liking, this. I've, Call this like the 50 shades of grey. Most of my histogram is sitting right bang in the middle. Do you want the boob tube in shot or do you want it above shot? Or you hadn't thought? Not fussed about it. Not fussed. No. I'll come back, I'll take a shot and get the boob tube in it. That's really cool. That's really cool, there, 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 there. Beautiful, beautiful. I think I prefer more of you in it than less. I think I like it better further away. I'll go back a bit further and see what happens if I take the top of your head. Keep that in picture. Awesome. I think I like it. All right, so well, I just want to finish this off just a little bit. More to give me the mood I want to feel. With Shay's lighter hair, I think it's making the background still a fraction too light for what I want. So... I'm liking that better. I'm throwing in a decent amount of contrast and that's getting me sitting more in the area I want to sit. This is more to bring the background a touch further down. And then I can bring... Yeah, I'm liking that. Yeah, so with the, the blonde hair is making a big difference on this picture, but the rest of it, I know it's not identical, but I've got the light upwards. Now I want an Alma picture. Yeah, the reason I want to be tethering is this, that it gives me the ability to fine tune the picture after I've, I like that, cool. Come this way just a tiny, that's it, that's enough. That's, that's plenty, beautiful, beautiful there. It's more just so I don't get that in shot. Now the sun's just come up, that'd be right. I actually really like this, but it is quite a bit different to that now, but it's only because the sun keeps coming up and down. Yeah, this is one of the reasons why I like starting off copying something because I would have never set this light up myself. This has given me a reason to set this up and now I've created this look that I really, really like. Whereas I would never have tried this because I was trying to replicate a lighting I didn't know what it was. And now because of that, I've got, cool, that's really cool. It's cool, real, that's really nice, I like this a lot. And again, like I said at the start, you might hate this lighting, but I'm not a big fan of country and western, but I don't go ringing up every country and western band in the world and go, I hate your music. I just don't listen to it. Yeah, no, really like that. That's really cool. I reckon you got a shot, but I'm not gonna stop there. Now, we'll, let's get to you going first, and then we can work to, <laughs> we'll get an hour picture, and then we'll move on to the next lighting. Cool, cool. That's nice, that's nice, that's cool. Try not to stop with me. Just try, yeah, just take it a little bit like a slow motion video. Beautiful, beautiful. And it's just more of, that's better, that's cool. It just allows me to get more than one frame. Cool, I like that, I like that a lot, cool, cool. Nice, nice. Nice, I like that, I love that. Yeah, um, the drift that Shay's doing now is about perfect for me. As long as she can keep it as she's drifting, she feels a spot that feels good. 
because then her muscles change in her face and I don't just get the same model face in every picture. It's like, oh, that gives me the strength. That's nice, that's really cool. That's really cool. Nice, nice. That's cool, keep going, keep going. Chin up a little bit, yeah, cool, beautiful. Beautiful, there, there, there. Cool, cool. Nice, nice. So we hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did enjoy that and want to see the full, longer, extended version, you can head over to Inspire. I'll drop a link down below in the description for that. And I will also throw up some other videos of Peter recreating lighting looks around my head now.